Welcome back to online learning. Today in task two, we're gonna be doing a student interest survey. And the goal of this student interest survey is to reflect on your personal three interests or ideas from the survey, explain why they're the most important to you, and then begin tuning into organizations that we know of already that we could connect with and learn how they're working with those ideas and maybe how we can too. So let's go ahead and look at this student interest survey, and I'm now going to put it into full screen so that you can see it a little easier. In Seesaw, you're going to have the option to submit a paper copy of this, meaning you can do it on paper and then take a clear picture and then submit it, or there's a digital version waiting for you also. So let's jump into the interest survey. On the left side, we have eight ideas that have bolded words that we're going to be using to explain some of those ideas and how and why we're feeling interested in them. On the right side is where we'll be doing that explaining and connecting. So first things first, you're going to be watching this video and then you're going to choose three of the ideas that you feel are important to you as an individual. So just going down the list, I'm going to read each of them. I worry about the environment and climate change. I like to recycle or reduce my plastic use. If this was interesting to you and important to you, you would check it or put a one, two or three to show the importance to you. Next one, I often notice animals around me outside and want to help them. I think everyone should get access to medical services like medicine and the ability to see a doctor when they are sick. I care a lot about fairness and equality Everyone should be able to have a safe and fair job. I think books should be provided for, for all children so they can learn and be educated. I try to help stop bullying when I see it. I like to chat with elderly people in my family or community because they can be lonely. I believe we should provide food or supplies to, to people that do not have enough money or a job. So you might be interested and find a lot of these are important to you, but that's okay. You're just going to choose the top three. So just because you don't select something doesn't mean we don't think you care about it. It just means it isn't in that top three if you had to choose something right now and narrow it down because we've told you to do so. So once you've chosen your top three, you're going to come over to the right side and you're going to take the bold word of your top three and put them in order of your preference, what you prefer, what's most important to you as of this moment in order on the lines. So you can use the text box feature if you're doing this on Seesaw or handwrite it neatly if you're doing it on paper. On number two or section two of the right side, you're going to look at the three that you most agree with from above and explain why you feel these are the three most important to you. You could do this in one complex sentence that shows why and explains why, or you might do this in two or three sentences because you're needing to really answer the question. So please be careful of that so we can see your thinking as to why these are the most important to you. These are going to help your teacher help you connect with an organization. So if you are saying something's important to you, explain why so we can connect you with the correct organization. Lastly, in section three of the right hand side, you're going to be thinking about what what organizations locally, so at Concordian or Bangkok or globally, do you know of that already help with these ideas? So you might have heard of some different organizations that work with bullying or elderly or getting food and supplies or education or any of these ideas. You might have heard of some of them and you can list them here. Or you can think specifically of the three that are most important to you and then list any organizations you might already know of that connect to those. Now, what if you don't know any organizations that connect? It's okay. Try to reflect on that and write a complete sentence just saying, I'm not sure when I Googled, this is what I found, but I'm still not positive. And that's okay. So again, you can submit this digitally or in paper form by taking a clear photo and then click the green check to show that you have completed.